I can't understand how anyone could ever want to make animals like this suffer. Only on ABC 6, round the clock treatment tonight for nearly two dozen Labradors after someone poisoned the dogs at a kennel. Their owner says someone slipped his dog's antifreeze but has no idea who or why they were targeted. The Licking County Sheriff's Office launched an investigation last night. One of the 18 dogs did not survive and right now it's a race against the clock to save the rest. I know. Oh, hi, honey. Sarah Wilcox is comforting Kelly. The six-year-old black lab doesn't understand why she's hooked up to an IV. She's doing pretty well. She's one of the better ones. Kelly's owner, Don Butts, already had to let one go. What's hard is the one I euthanized yesterday that they poisoned a few days ago. It's just tough. Butts runs a kennel in rural Licking County. It's this retiree's livelihood, but these dogs are like family. I'm 73 years of age. I've had dogs for 53 years. I've never had nothing like this happen in my lifetime. 18 labs poisoned in their kennels with antifreeze, but Butts' granddaughter doesn't know by who, when, or why. Anyone could have secretly come to their kennels. I mean, they, they live outdoors. They're, they love the, love the weather, love to swim and play outside. Masterson Veterinary Clinic started treating the dogs Friday night. The first sign of any illness was the dog that um, we lost, Storm. Antifreeze is deadly to dogs. Once ingested, the animals appear drunk. In simple terms, it destroys their kidneys. If not caught fast enough, their organs start shutting down. Which is why we had to um, put down Storm and why we may have to put down some of the other dogs. Veterinarians are flushing their kidneys with doses of vodka. Some are doing better than others. The hope is the rest will pull through and the culprit put behind bars. They're innocent animals that, that someone decided to hurt intentionally and, and wanted to make them suffer. And I, I, I can't understand that. Out of the 17 remaining dogs, three are in bad shape tonight. The owner says he doesn't know of anyone who may have had a grudge against him or his family. He's now offering a $1,000 reward for an arrest and conviction.